Friction is something we experience every day, from walking on the ground to stopping a moving car. Classical physics describes friction using simple laws. The force of friction is proportional to the normal force and independent of contact area. But when we push the boundaries into extreme pressures, atomic scales, or ultra-fast speeds, these familiar rules begin to break down. Why does this happen, and what does it reveal about the nature of materials? What for example, at the nanoscale, surfaces that should exhibit significant friction sometimes slide almost effortlessly due to super lubricity, a phenomenon where atomic layers misalign, drastically reducing resistance. Graphene and other 2D materials have demonstrated near nero friction under certain conditions defying conventional expectations. How can friction suddenly disappear when it is a fundamental force we rely on Conversely, under extreme pressures, certain materials experience frictional strengthening, where friction increases disproportionately instead of staying constant. This can be seen in earthquake mechanics, where underground rock layers lock together with enormous friction before suddenly slipping, releasing massive energy. This contradicts standard friction models and suggests hidden structural transformations at high stress. At high speeds, friction can also behave strangely. When objects move extremely fast, like spacecraft re-entering the Earth's atmosphere or bullet striking surfaces, materials can momentarily melt or even exhibit negative friction, where a surface seems to reduce resistance instead of increasing it. Could this be due to microstructural phase changes, the breaking of atomic bonds, or even quantum effects influencing material behavior? Friction anomalies aren't just theoretical curiosities. They have practical implications for nanotechnology, earthquake prediction, aerospace engineering, and advanced manufacturing. If we could fully understand these deviations, we might develop near-frictionless engines, earthquake-resistant structures, or hyper-efficate mechanical systems. Could the future of material science lead to the ability to control friction at will? turning it off and on as needed. Understanding these paradoxes might bring us closer to unlocking entirely new possibilities in physics and engineering. Friction is often described by classical laws such as Amontin's laws, which state that friction is proportional to the normal force and independent of contact area. However, at extreme pressures and high speeds, friction deviates significantly from these principles due to quantum and nanoscale effects. The paradox lies in how materials transition from classical friction behavior to regimes where friction can decrease, increase unpredictably, or even vanish under certain conditions. At the nanoscale, materials like graphene exhibit near-near friction, superlubricity, when sliding past each other due to the lack of interlocking surface asperities. This is similar to walking on ice versus walking on dry ground. While classical friction applies to rough surfaces, extremely smooth or structured surfaces can behave counterintuitively. Super lubrication occurs when surfaces slide with negligible resistance due to atomic scale effects, such as lattice mismatches reducing energy dissipation. Recent studies show that under certain conditions, such as specific twist angles in layered materials, friction drops almost to zero, contradicting conventional expectations. This phenomenon suggests that friction is not purely a macroscopic force, but is governed by atomic interactions that can disrupt classical assumptions. Experiments with hexagonal boron nitride and twisted graphene layers show nearly frictionless motion when the atomic structures are misaligned. Like mismatched gears that fail to engage, misaligned atomic lattices prevent surfaces from locking together drastically reducing friction. Contrary to classical models where higher velocities increase friction due to greater energy dissipation, some materials exhibit velocity weakening friction, where resistance decreases at high speeds. This is often observed in earthquake dynamics and tribological systems where rapid motion leads to localized heating, phase transitions, or even material vaporization, altering frictional behavior. The paradox challenges conventional assumptions that faster motion always leads to stronger resistive forces. Seismologists observe that fault lines exhibit reduced friction during fast slip events, allowing for sudden, catastrophic earthquakes. 
like hydroplaning on a wet road where increased speed causes a loss of traction, certain materials experience a loss of friction at high velocities. Under extreme pressures, some materials exhibit an inverse frictional response where increasing pressure unexpectedly reduces friction instead of increasing it. This counterintuitive behavior arises from pressure-induced phase transitions that alter the material's surface chemistry or atomic interactions. Such anomalies suggest that pressure can trigger quantum mechanical or structural reorganizations that override macroscopic friction laws. Diamond-like carbon coatings exhibit reduced friction when subjected to extreme pressures, likely due to the formation of a low shear interface layer. This is akin to pressing a dry sponge against a surface. Initially, resistance increases, but beyond a threshold, the material changes form and glides more easily. At extremely high temperatures, friction can decrease as surfaces undergo phase changes, form liquid-like interfacial layers, or experience sublimation. This contrasts with conventional models where higher temperatures generally lead to material softening and greater adhesion. Understanding this paradox is critical in designing materials for extreme environments, such as spacecraft shielding and high-speed machining. Titanium alloys used in aerospace applications exhibit lower friction at high temperatures due to oxidation layer formation, reducing metal-to-metal -metal contact. Like ice melting under pressure, high temperatures can create a lubricating layer that paradoxically reduces friction instead of increasing it. At atomic scales, quantum effects such as electron-phonon coupling and Casimir forces can significantly modify frictional interactions. These quantum-induced forces can enhance or suppress friction, creating behavior that defies classical friction models. The paradox lies in how friction, traditionally seen as a macroscopic emergent force, can exhibit quantum mechanical dependencies that override classical predictions. Scanning, tunneling, microscopy experiments reveal that quantum friction effects arise even in vacuum, challenging the notion that friction only occurs due to surface contact. This is like a, a ship moving through a frictionless vacuum, but still experiencing resistance due to quantum fluctuations. Um, friction is often assumed to involve a steady loss of energy, but in some materials, energy is stored and released in unpredictable bursts, leading to stick-slip motion. This results in sudden jumps in friction rather than a smooth, continuous force, contradicting standard models. Understanding this paradox is essential for earthquake physics, material wear, and nanomechanical systems. Atomic force microscopy reveals that nanoscale friction often involves discrete jumps rather than smooth sliding caused by atomic rearrangements. Like pulling a heavy object with a rubber band, energy builds up and is suddenly released rather than being dissipated uniformly. Soft materials such as polymers and biological tissues exhibit friction behaviors that contradict traditional solid-on-solid -solid friction models. Their frictional response depends on factors like deformation, viscoelastic relaxation, and surface adhesion, making predictions highly nonlinear. This paradox challenges the generalizability of classical friction laws across different material types. The friction of biological tissues, such as cartilage and joints, is dramatically lower than expected due to complex hydration and molecular lubrication mechanisms. Like walking on a trampoline, soft materials deform under pressure changing how friction is applied compared to rigid surfaces. Traditional friction models assume that surface roughness increases friction due to interlocking asperities, but real-world observations show that highly rough surfaces can exhibit both increased and decreased friction depending on scale. Fractal analysis of surfaces has revealed that self-similar roughness patterns can lead to unexpected frictional behaviors that classical theories fail to capture. This paradox suggests that surface interactions are not merely a function of roughness magnitude, but also of hierarchical structural organization. Experimental studies on ultra-smooth and fractal palmated surfaces show extreme variations in friction, contradicting simple roughness-based predictions, like the difference between walking on gravel versus a perfectly smooth ice rink. 
surface interactions depend on more than just roughness, microstructure plays a crucial role 